and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. In this chapter, we're going to be converting this image from linear to nonlinear. Pretty much near our final product. So we're going to unstretch the bit, the uh, image. And we're going to open up our histogram transformation. That could be found up here in processes, all processes histogram transformation and we're going to select the oh, first thing I need to do is remove that mask and I'm going to select my image here open up a real-time preview And this is actually fairly straightforward. We're just going to drag this midpoint slider over. As you can see, things are starting to pop in. So we're just going to keep dragging it over. And I'm going to zoom in. Keep dragging that over. Now if I drag it too far, we're going to get a lot of that blotchiness in and things start to get blown out. So we're just going to back that off. Somewhere right in there. I'm going to pop it right, right in there. We're going to apply it. And we're going to reset. And then we're going to reset this here. As you can see, we're popped off the right side on our histograms. And now we're going to zoom back in a little bit. Don't want to bring it this way. So we'll just go ahead and reset that. Don't want to bring our black point over. I don't want to clip too many of our blacks. But now, think right in there. So let's apply that. And reset that again. Let's bring this. to it. Let's apply it. Undo. Just pull some more of those blacks over. I think I just want to pull a little bit more than normal because of that blotchiness that was there.
think I will leave it right there. So we'll adjust that. Yeah, I kind of like it like that. Now, if I wanted to, I could come in here and I could really bump up those blues, make it a little bit more, a little bit warmer. But we're not going to worry about that, so we're just going to reset that. So we're going to go ahead and close this preview. That's pretty much where I want it. So that pretty much does it. We are now a linear image. Stretching it's not going to do anything other than really mess it up. So at this point, everything is on the nonlinear image, which is what our final product is going to end up being with. Might be a little blown out here in the center, but I still wanted to get more of this banding out here. So, yeah, I'll leave it like it is. So for maybe... You know what? Maybe I'll dump it right there. Yeah, I'm going to leave that right there. And, you know, there's other tricks I've seen where you auto stretch with this and then drag over to this. And I've never had a lot of success doing it that way. Um, doing it manual was just turned out to be easier. Um, so we'll leave it there and uh, next we'll be trying to get some more detail out of this thing so I'm gonna say thanks for watching catch you in the next chapter appreciate each and every one of you please hit that like button subscribe if you so choose ring that bell if you want to get notified and as always clear skies and thank you.